Good morning, Shavua Tov, Chodesh Tov. It's uh, Sunday morning, the 18th of October. It is the uh, first day of Rosh Chodesh Cheshvan. So today we are saying the uh, abbreviated form of Hallel. Uh, we're including Ya'alev Yavo in our uh, prayers and in our Birkat Amazon. And we are saying Musaf for Rosh Chodesh. Uh, we'll take a look in Halachically Speaking, Volume 1 here, uh, about what Rabbi Lebowitz writes about speaking Divrei Torah at the table. The Mishnah in Pirkei Avot, chapter 3, says that when three people sit at a table and they do not say words of Torah, it is, eating as, it, it, it is as if they ate, uh, partook of idolatrous sacrifices. However, if words of Torah were said, it's as if they are eating from the table of Hashem. The post can say that it's a mitzvah to say words of Torah at the table. There's a mitzvah to learn oneself at the table, but if one doesn't, uh, it's not like uh, one's eating from ziv chemesim, from idolatrous sacrifices. Rather, we uh, try to uh, say something or share something. Now, this is not for Shabbat. This is not just on uh, Yom Tovim. This is every day, every time you sit down at the table. Our eating, which is a very uh, natural and uh, uh, we might even say instinctual or animal act, should be coupled together. Uh, with something that is transcendent, holy, godly. So even a few words of Torah, if you read a few words out of a Sefer or uh, share a, a Torah thought that you uh, came across somehow or other, that is what we're talking about. Uh, of course, the more the better, but at least something. Some Svarim, uh, Tiferos uh, Yisrael, or unless that's a, uh, that's a probably a typo, Tiferos Yisrael, uh, on Pirkei Avos say that when a person eats and does not elevate his eating and drinking with Divrei Torah, uh, we are demonstrating that we eat just for our own pleasure and not l'shem shamayim uh, to gain strength to serve God. That is why we say divrei Torah at the table to show, demonstrate, and ensure that we're connecting with God. Others say that the table itself is like an altar. Uh, you've heard that, uh, that metaphor before. The table in our house is like the altar in the temple. When the offerings were brought in the temple, the Levites sang songs. They would say words of Torah. They would say Tehillim. We should say Divrei Torah in place of the songs that the Levites sang. Another reason that's offered is eating and drinking is considering giving in to our more uh, base instincts, and by saying Divrei Torah, we uh, control that, according to Mayam Lois. Uh, in any case, again, as we say, a few words of Torah will, will suffice. The more, the better, uh, but always a good idea to bring that idea, uh, bring those two uh, things together, something that's very tangible, very physical, eating and something that's very uh, transcendent, very spiritual, which is Divrei Torah. Good, good uh, things to think about for all of us. Have a good week, a good Chodesh. See you again tomorrow. By the way, this is a two-day Rosh Chodesh. So also tomorrow, Monday, we will be saying the shortened form of Hallel. Uh, we'll include a Ya'alev Yavo in our prayers and our benching. Uh, and uh, we will say the, in the morning the Musaf for Rosh Chodesh. Have a good day, a good Chodesh.